Hey y'all, this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. Okay, so I have been seeing all over Facebook, all over YouTube, how people are creating cards for nurses and doctors and healthcare professionals and, and nursing homes. And I decided I was going to pull out this collection and I'm going to start cutting it up and I am just going to make little postcards and I'm going to send it to the assisted living place where my dad lives. There's about 75 people there, so I decided I was going to see if I could at least get 20 of them done tonight. That way, then maybe by, say, next, next Monday, I'll have enough to send for everyone in the building. And just send them a little postcard. And I decided just to do this. I figure it would be easier. Um, I'm just going to decorate the fronts, and then I'll handwrite on the back before I get ready to send them. Um, but anyway, I just thought maybe, um, maybe it would just bring them a little smile or whatever. So anyway, um, let's just get started. So let's just see how many I can do within the next 20 or 30 minutes. So I'm going to try to see how many I can knock out. So they're going to be super simple. I'm going to start by cutting up some of these cut aparts. I absolutely love this collection. And so I decided, you know what, I'm not going to... Right now is the time to send something encouraging to someone. And right now it is so hard because I'm. if you've watched my channel before, I can't, you know, of course I can't go in and visit my dad right now. I'm not allowed to go in. And so I decided, you know, I was going to make some little cards... Just something to hopefully maybe help their day be better. So whenever they, you know, I could go in before, I would always go and I would bring popsicles or I would bring like, you know, you know some kind of like fruit or something. And I would just start sharing it with anybody I saw in the hallways, you know, and um, I just, you know, they don't, sometimes they don't have family that comes to see them. So I decided, you know what? I will try to see what I can do to help them. So I'm just gonna start by cutting as many as I can. You know, I'm a, I'm a cut apart card person. I have made some other different cards, but these are just the most simple and these have such encouraging words. Why not use them? So I'm just gonna keep on cutting. Hopefully, this will bring someone a smile. Because I know my dad, he doesn't really get a lot of mail. So, I know that I received a letter today from where my dad lives. And now all the providers, they do not have anybody in their building or in... I know they have different chains for this company um, that owns... And they said they do not have any cases of COVID-19, which is absolutely amazing, um, wonderful. Praise the Lord for that. So, you know, I'm just going to keep on hoping that it sticks like this. Now, these right here, these are set four by sixes. So, I could just actually use these and I wouldn't even have to do anything with them. So, I'm just going to make sure I include these. And they're already sweet postcards, so you don't really have to do anything unless you want to embellish it. If you want to add it to another card, um, you don't even have to. So let's just cut these up too, because we want to make sure that we utilize this whole collection here. And I have to say, uh, I received a blessing in my mailbox today. Pia Bernardino, she is craft amazing here on YouTube. Y'all, she is amazing, let me tell you. I was making masks the other day, but I had to stop making them because I didn't have any more elastic. And as you know, most places are all sold out. I, I, I thought, well, I could use my uh, elastic that I use for, um, you know, for the Traveler's Notebooks, and that does work. But I really wanted to be able to have some a little bit thicker elastic and she told me I've got some I don't even know what to do with it so y'all I received it in the mail today so now I'll be able to make I've got some friends and family members that is asking if I'm going to make them and I've already made some for my family but um yeah I 
now I can make a make some more and I could send them. So Pia, if you are watching, bless you, thank you. You are just wonderful. Uh, thank you so much. Okay, I am just going to keep cutting. Might as well do all this now. And I'll just start layering up, making myself something, some nice little cards out of this. So yes, it was a great blessing. I am truly grateful. Thank you, Pia, so much. You know, you just realize, you know, you, we meet so many people on here on YouTube. And how how amazing it is. This She doesn't even, she, she you know, we talk, we chat on, you know, Instagram. and Or not Instagram, but on, you know, like on uh, Messenger and all that. And we've texted and stuff, but we've never met each other in person. And so, you know... Um, Pia just happened to write me one day. She messaged me before we kind of got to know each other, and she wanted to know if I was Filipino. And because my last name is Belmonte, and I told her no, but my husband is from the Philippines. So that's kind of how we got to chatting and everything, and she is actually Filipino as well. And I have just made the most wonderful friend. So thank you, Pia, so much. Thank you for sharing your elastic with me okay so i think i got all the cut aparts oh no i got some more y'all so i'll be able to do quite a few cards with these um again i have those others that already have the four by six i can just save those and send you know because any of my encouragement to these people they will be very excited and happy to get so um yep this this is the paper collection i kind of got all choked up over because i uh, it's just this so so encouraging faith can move mountains my friends faith can move mountains I saw there was a, um, a video, two videos that I watched today, which one of them I was super proud to finally hear from this person again. And and um, even though she was on for not crafting, um, I just want to say to those people that um, God loves you and, um, and to the lady that was doing blaming, um, God loves you, and, um, it's time for us just, to uh, move on. Um, in her video, in this person's video, and I'm not going to say her name, she said she just wants to get on and show her craft. Well, we're waiting. We want to see your craft, so show us what you can do. Show us those paintings. We'd love to see you teach us how to paint, because believe me, I don't paint. So I would love to see a tutorial on that, if you would, please. And um, to the other very sweet lady, she knows who she is. Um, we hope you come back. If you don't, it's okay. We want you to be healthy, and we love you so, so much. And as you know, I'm here for you 100%. So that's my two cents. On that little bit of drama. No more drama, friends. Right now's the time to be to be together. So to the one who was who was kind of you know, yeah. Just God bless you and pray for you and it's gonna be okay. Show us what you can do. I want to see your painting. the ones that you showed on your on your video today show me how to do that because I'm interested okay so I got I think I got all the cut aparts all the cut aparts cut up so these right here I could actually mat them in the back and just put a place where I can sign 
So I think that's what I'll do with these. So that gives me a lot more postcards here. This gives me so many postcards. And um, so that gives me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So this is already 12 right here. And what I'm gonna do, I think what I'll do is cut some white back here, a little bit smaller, probably a five by, maybe five, uh, five and a half by three and a half, and put back here on the backs of these. So that's got them, put those aside. And then I've got all these other cut aparts. So yeah, let's just start cutting. So I'm gonna start cutting myself some designer paper, and these are four by six. So I'm just gonna start cutting myself some designer paper, and maybe three fourths by, uh, three and three fourths by five and three fourths. So let's just go, I'm gonna make one, see how that looks, and then I'll know to keep cutting or not. The hard part now is to decide what what side do I want? Okay, so I'm gonna have to do, these are a little bit smaller. Let me see what these are, I didn't measure. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna do these, I'm gonna do these four by five and a, five and a quarter. So, actually they're a little smaller than I thought. So four by five and a quarter, let me cut this down. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave this one, but let me try by five and a quarter. And I think that will be okay. So when you can just add this in, if it's like this one, I already had it a little short, I can trim it off, it's gonna be fine. I don't wanna waste, so I'm gonna cut the five and a quarters. Okay, so I got five and a quarter. Okay, and so I think I'm gonna do the four. I think I've got it a little short, so let me cut these four by five and a quarter, and I think I'll be in business. So I know this is kind of not a tutorial, really. It's kind of our craft with me. I hope that you're gonna enjoy this, and um, yeah. Okay, four by five and a quarter. Let's see how many I can get done. I'm at 12 minutes. I'm gonna give it, give it like 15 more minutes and see how well I can do. So hopefully you'll be, you'll be encouraged to like maybe make cards for family members or right now is not the time to like load up with big, big, packages or whatever now because we don't want to over you know stress over that you know the poster workers and all that but you know what send a simple card that means a lot to someone and um yeah okay so i'm gonna continue to cut this is really hard so i've got it four Five and a quarter. Isn't it beautiful, y'all? And look, that was the Bible print. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm gonna cut that. So I need some fours. And when I went out, run out of my base cards that I have, it's okay, I can cut cut some out of white paper or whatever. Um That's good, five and a quarter. I thought about doing a, a live video. I haven't done one in a very, very long time. So I think that it might come soon. Hopefully someone will join in. We can do a chat. I don't think I've done it since last year when my sister was here. So, anyway, 
Okay, so I'm just, just do all your cutting as much as you can. Then you can just get these put together as fast as you can. Isn't that just gorgeous, y'all? Just gorgeous. everybody had an awesome day I'm still going into work this week but I'm back working from home next week y'all I have washed my hands so much <laughs> you know I'm just I guess I'm just even though our office building we haven't had anybody that has tested positive for COVID and all that you know it's just even though they come and they clean all the time, it still makes me nervous. So I'm just trying to be cautious. I notice not all my coworkers, the few that's there, wears gloves when we handle things, but you know, I guess it's up to them, but I wear gloves. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna see what I can do to get started. I still have a few more pages here. I've cut quite a bit. So let's just see if I can like start putting some of these together. I even got this cool sticker sheet. So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this like as a base and there's a matte side and a more shiny side. I like to write on the more matte side so I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab my tape gun. And I kind of like the flower side the best on this particular one. I hate this when this happens. I changed this last night. And okay, so let's just get going here. All I gotta do is just center them up. Leave a little bit of a trim on the outside. And I think I'll just do a bunch of these and then start putting the cut aparts on them. Do y'all feel like that, you know, with this pandemic and everything, do you feel like, do you see a light at the end yet? I mean, I mean, we're seeing things like on, look at this, how cute it is already. Oh my. I mean, it's like, I tell my husband, do you think that this will be over maybe in a month? And he said, maybe, maybe by June. Wouldn't it be, wouldn't it be awesome, y'all, just to have it over with and... Yeah, it's just, we're just going to pray so we can all get back to normal lives and I can go see my dad. We can celebrate my, my grandson's birthday the right way. I really miss seeing my dad, y'all. I know he's lonely to see his, his family, but, um proud that um, he is safe so that's what's super important these are already cute just matting them up on these on these cards this is so cute already i love the border precious it's just precious i did not um reach out to the lady i always talk with where my dad lives yet um, to tell her I was thinking about doing this but I have a feeling that it will be just fine she will be just fine and be proud so I'm hoping I can get these in the mail pretty soon I'm gonna shoot for a couple of days of course I have to make my dad a, a bigger card 
for my daddy one. So, look at this. See? Look, all these postcards are ready. They, these look so pretty already. And all I did was mount them. I'm so excited. And I'm at 20 minutes, y'all, since I started. And I cut all those cut apart. Today, I got to have my tacos, y'all. So yesterday, I was talking about, you know, if you watched my last video, <sighs> I, I was talking about making tacos. And I made my tacos today. They were yummy. I do like the birdies. I like both sides of this one, so I'll use both. So I think you get the hint on how to make quick postcards. Y'all, just start layering up. Layering up. Anything layered is beautiful. And the thought of putting a smile on someone's face is priceless. I do like this side too. I think I'll do this one on that side. The birdies are darling, but let's go with this. I think out of all of them so far, I love the first prints that I did first. I really do. It's just beautiful. The flowers. I know these aren't manly, but it's okay. I don't really, I don't have a lot of manly paper, y'all. Do you have manly paper? I have like birthday boy paper, but I guess all mine is kind of foo foo ish. I have a little bit of tape outside there. Don't want anything to be glued. So I've already got quite a few, y'all. I might be able to wipe these out before I know it. So I'm going to keep doing this for just a few more minutes. I'll see some more birds. We'll layer. I'll show you how I do one. And of course, I'll do the rest off camera. And I just want to get on and just chat. See how you're doing. Just let you know that uh, I'm thinking about all my crafty friends. Thinking and thinking. My husband always says, okay, I know you're going to be in there in your room soon. He's usually right. Okay, so. This one. Oh, and this one, y'all. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful, beautiful. I really wanted to get in the car and go talk to my dad through the window again, but I think I had better wait. I'll just keep calling him. I have to call him tonight. If y'all have loved ones um, that don't live with you or you know, sister living in nursing homes, I know you know what I'm thinking or how I'm feeling. I'm just, uh, I pray. You know, that this gets over with and no one catches it where my dad is. Okay, I got it extra sticky this time. So if you're still watching, if I've kept your attention this long, just chatting with you and crafting, making some postcards for some elderly people. Um, what'd you have for dinner? Put it in the comments below. 
that way I'll know how many people are still watching. Okay, I'm going to just finish these. I've got four more papers that I've cut, and then I'm going to start layering up. So, yeah, what'd you have for dinner? I got home, my husband was off today. So I actually got home and I immediately started making tacos. So he was working on his Mustang again. And, and uh, okay, I got three more and then I'm gonna make one, lower it up. Isn't that just so cute? I, I hate to cover up the beautiful paper on that. <sighs> hate to cover it up, but you know, it's okay. dad he had told me he said yeah i've lost two more pounds i'm like that's great dad i think it's because i'm not coming and we're not eating eating late in the night together because him and i when i would go there we would like eat and like i'd make a snack for us and we would stay up late and just talk and i'm not able to go I haven't seen him in like i feel like two months well, besides being able to see them through the window. Okay, I've got one more cut, and I'm going to start layering one up. And look how many I've already done, and I'm at 26 minutes. Okay, so look at that. I've got all of these with top papers. I've still got a few more, but I'll come back and do those. And let's just see. Of course, we've got to layer these up. We always want to make sure we layer. It just looks prettier. And look at this one. I just think this one is just gorgeous. I'm just going to put the flower on here. Let me see. I want to go back here to one of these that I truly love. So, oh, yes. Okay. So, I have a little bit of the color sticking on the edge. I want that. Got to have it pretty, even though probably someone elderly would probably not even notice. But I notice. Okay. I'm just going to go through my scraps here. A bunch of scraps off to the side. And there's a piece of blue going to work. These don't have to be fancy, just simple. So you took a second to make someone a card. Okay, and just layer it up. Just layer in. Just gonna add I'm not gonna do too much I just think just making it just so it's pretty you could put this on foam take if you want you could put this over to the side I'm just think I'll just eyeball it in the center and just layer them up and like I said I'll leave the back and I'm gonna write on the back And just simple little little things I pulled out of my drawer, cut up the paper, and it made a very sweet card. I mean, you can go as far as adding some little gems. You can add strips of paper underneath. Whatever you like. Let's just do another one really fast. But they don't have to be difficult because any little thing is going to make someone smile. I promise you. So that is just easy, just like that. Um, grab your scraps. Gonna grab your scraps. I'm going to see if I can put a piece of red going across here. I like this God is love one. And I think I'll just cut this one like maybe uh, about three-fourths of an inch. 
and I'll just put it going across. I'm gonna layer this up. I need another piece of red. So I can get this on. get that out of my way. And I'm just going to put this over. Just going to give it a little bit of something. And I love, love, love this. I think I'll put this right there in the center. And that is it, you. That is it, y'all. That is it. I mean, just make it. And see, and I did. I didn't trim on, or I didn't measure, but just trim it. And little things like this is going to make someone's day. It will. I know it will. So, y'all, think about sending something to your loved ones or your friends. Just something simple, as simple as this. And I am going to sit here. I'm going to finish doing as many as I can tonight. But yeah, do something like this for the elderly people, for your family members that, you know, that maybe they really can't get out. I mean, if you can go out and go to the grocery store, at least you've had a minute to go to the grocery store. Being safe, of course. But there's some people that don't have anybody. So it's really important for us to kind of to help out. So I'm going to make these and I'm going to send them down to where my dad lives. And it's just a little something to make someone smile. Anyway, y'all, I am at 32 minutes, so I think I'm going to cut this one off. I think you get the idea of what I'm doing here. Just something simple. I'm going to send these to someone, and I hope they like them. Anyway, thank you so much, y'all, for just crafting with me tonight. Just listen to me chat. I can just go on. I'm so sorry. Um, but anyway, just know I love each and every one of you. And to the people that I mentioned that I didn't say their name, God loves you. Um, I hope to see the one back. And the other one, I hope that she just starts crafting and tries to move on. And I hope that um, she knows that God loves her. And so do all of us both of you. Anyway, thank you so much. And Pia Bernardino, you are, you are an angel. Thank you so much for sending me the elastic. I'm going to start sewing on these like super soon. Anyway, thank you so much. And I will see you guys later. Bye.